Hi there everyone, Jeanette Linfoot here. Hope you're well and you're having a good start to the day. So what I wanted to talk to you today about is personal development. Now this is number four out of a series of five that I'm doing to help you during these tricky times. We know it's not easy at the moment, in particular with lockdown, with changes in our working environments, our personal situations. Uh, so now more than ever, it is absolutely critical that you spend time on your personal development. Um, and by personal development, what I mean is improving yourself as a person. And, you know, that could range from anything in terms of educating yourself, learning a new skill, uh, working on your mindset working on your own um, interests, etc. And it particularly making sure you stay healthy and well. Healthy body equals a healthy mind. So that's the personal development. So it can be quite broad, but it can also be very specific for you, what you absolutely need. And it's kind of like a bank account. So when you have a bank account, you're making withdrawals from that bank account every day, every month, every year. And if you don't put any money back into the bank account or make any deposits, the balance is going to go down and down and down to the point that there's either nothing left or even worse, you're in the red, you're overdrawn. So if you think about it, with, uh, with our lives, you know, you have work, you have business, you have demands on you every single day. You know, you've got bills to pay, you've got kids to look after, you've got so much stuff to do that that's making a withdrawal from your bank account. Now, by actually focusing on your personal development, that is actually making some deposits into your bank account. It's, it's refueling so that you get out of the red and back into the black. So that's what I'm going to talk about um, today because it's something I feel really passionate about and it's so important um, for all of you. So, you know, why is it important then? Well, it's important really for a range of reasons but I've got sort of five main reasons why I think investing time, energy and resources in yourself is the best investment you will ever make. Um, so the five reasons which I think it makes absolute sense for you to invest in your personal development is you know, it helps you grow as a person overall. Um, it broadens your perspective, you know, you might actually have a fresh view of the world or be able to solve a problem um, slightly more creatively. It keeps your mind active and, you know, it keeps you curious, really, about the world um, and wanting to be a better version of yourself. And it can challenge you in more creative ways. You know, you can get inspired when you read something or you listen to someone, a podcast or a motivational speech, whatever it may be. It can help you get very creative as well. And really importantly, the fifth reason, it you know, personal development, it keeps your body and your mind healthy. Uh, mental health is so important and that is very much aligned with exercise as well and, and that whole area of looking after yourself. If you're in the best shape possible, well then you can help others around you. And it's a, you know, it's a bit like the analogy of when you go onto an aircraft and they go through the safety uh, briefing, they will always say, when they come to the part about the oxygen mask, they will always say, put your own mask on first and then put the mask on your child or who else you're traveling with. And that's what we're talking about with personal development. It's, it's putting your own oxygen mask on. It's making sure that you are in the best shape possible. And now more than ever, we absolutely need to be looking after ourselves and taking care. So, you know, you're going through this period of change, possibly. There's a lot of uncertainty. There's worry. You know, there's sort of health things going on clearly in the environment that we're in right now. Um, so you want to make sure that you are in the best shape possible. So, you know, there's a number of areas that I'm going to take you through now um, that will give you, so hopefully give you some ideas in terms of how you can invest in yourself to be the best version of you. You know, and at the end of the day, who wants mediocre? You know, I, I think, you know, you all have brilliance within you. Absolutely. 
and you know to bring that out and to nurture it means that you can achieve anything you want even during difficult times um, so you know as I say I would just encourage you to think about this stuff and see how you can carve out dedicated time every single day to work on yourself and that might only be 10 minutes it might be half an hour it might be an hour whatever you can find but that is going to really help you, I think, uh, because otherwise, as we referred to earlier, the bank account, you could become depleted, you could become overdrawn in your own bank account of, of your life and you as a person. So we want to make sure that the balance is strong, we're out of the red and we're in the black. So what I'm going to take you through is six areas that can um, help you with your personal development. Now, I have to give full credit, actually, to um, a book called The Miracle Morning, and that's by Hal Elrod. Now, a lot of this um, I do anyway in my life, but when I read that book, it really emphasised the importance of these areas when it comes to your personal development. So if you've not read it, I would absolutely recommend it. It's very short and snappy, um, and it really is quite useful and it helps you put those new routines and structures into play which I'm actually going to talk about um, in the fifth episode of this series. So let's get to it then. So there are six areas that you can put into practice daily to work on your personal development. Now the, the acronym for this is called SAVERS, S-A-V-E-R-S. -E so I'm going to go through each of those letters, what they stand for and how that could be applied for you so you can put this into practice. So the first one is SILENCE. Um, spending a little bit of time just in silence. Now, this can be quite difficult. It's certainly very challenging for me because I love to talk. So to sit quietly even for five minutes is a challenge for me. But it's something that I have worked hard on and it certainly helps me uh, just keep calm, really, and, and, you know, concentrate on your breathing. You could do some meditation. You could just literally sit there, you know, gazing out of the window, whatever works for you. But spending time in silence is a great way to calm yourself down. And a lot of these uh, routines and habits on your personal development, depending on your flow and energy, quite good to do in the morning because it sets you off for the day in the right way. So I tend to do these things in the morning. Morning, uh, but you might be slightly different. You might prefer to do it in the evening or whatever. So choose what's right for you. But basically, these are the six areas that I think can be massively beneficial. So spending time in silence. The A stands for affirmations. Um, and this is all about saying out loud what you actually want. Um, having your, you know, we've, your vision and purpose, we've spoken about that quite a lot, how important it is to be clear on what you want to achieve in life. Um, and affirmations, you say them out loud. Now, this can sound a little bit woo-woo, <laughs> to be honest. And I mean, oh my God, I sound like a right idiot. But who cares, you know? By actually verbalising what your dreams are, what you're hoping to achieve, you're speaking to your subconscious mind. And you're training your mind to actually say, I am those things. You know, if whatever it is that you want to be, you know, I want to make an impact on the world and help young people fulfill their potential. You know, I am a learner. I am a teacher. All of those things. Um, you know, so whatever it might be for you, you know, you might want to change career. You might want to get a new house. You might want to just have a happy relationship with a partner. You know, whatever it is, but say it out loud. You know, you could do it in a shower. Uh, whatever's going to work for you. But honestly, it sounds a bit woo-woo, but if you do it regularly, um, you know, you can absolutely make a difference to truly believing that you can actually achieve all of the things you want. The next letter, V, uh, is for visualisation. Now, again, it's, this is, it, it's aligned to the um, affirmations, to be honest, and the silence, actually, because, you know, if you close your eyes and you literally try and visualise what it is that you're trying to achieve, that becomes quite real. And what I would say is, you know, visualize the detail. So if you want that, I don't know, that fantastic new house, close your eyes. What does it look like? How does it feel when you wake up in the morning? 
Um, what's it like when you've got, you know, family and friends around entertaining? You know, visualize the garden. You know, is it a garden or have you got a view or what, whatever it is? If you visualize it, it starts to feel quite real. So it's incredibly powerful, the, the power of visualization. So again, it's a little bit woo woo, but I would just say give it a go. Why not? Um, the E is for exercise and you know for me having m momentum and you know getting your blood circulating around your body getting your heart rate up through exercise is is just so important um you know and you don't have to be a super athlete actually you know you could just be as simple as a walk around the block you know something like that um for me i like to run but i like to go well when we could go in the gym i'd love to go in the gym um you know so all manner of things but actually when you exercise it's really just time for you um and while you're focusing on that it's really clearing clearing your head i often find um that this is such a great stress release so you know if you're worried about something or you've had a really busy day or you've got a challenging day ahead or you know you're you're struggling with um maybe you're struggling with a, a complex problem or you're trying to think creatively i get so many great ideas while i'm running um or I'm, you know, on the cross trainer or whatever it may be. So, you know, I would just absolutely encourage you for whatever is right for you, we're all different, find your own flow with this, but exercise some part of every single day. Even if it's, I don't know, as simple as doing, you know, getting out of bed and doing 10 star jumps in the bedroom, whatever it is, you are raising your energy levels and that releases positive endorphins. So again, it helps with your mindset healthy body equals a healthy mind um, and obviously I'm not going to talk about you know things like diet and all that sort of stuff I mean a lot of that goes without saying but being kind to yourself getting enough sleep eating the right food creating that time for yourself to exercise and clear clear the decks a little bit in terms of your mind is so valuable um, the R is for reading. Now, I'm a voracious reader. I love reading, um, but we're not all the same, you know, so you might actually take in information more in an audible way, you know, so you can get audio books, you can listen to podcasts, there's so much content on YouTube or whatever it may be, but some way of learning something new. Uh, so reading is such a joy to be able to expand your mind. Sometimes reading could just be for pure escapism. You know, you might read fiction or, or whatever it is. And in that moment, a bit like the exercise, you're, you're really enjoying what you're reading and, you, and, and you, it allows you to block out all the other distractions. Um, I personally, I like to read some business books, mindset books. I love autobiographies. I like hearing about other people's journey because that inspires me and gives me ideas. So there's so many things that you can do here. But I would also say if you're not massively into reading or you don't have the, as much time to do that, well, then it's really great to be able to, um, as I say, to, to, to kind of pick up a book or listen on audio. And the other thing you can do, which is really smart, is you can listen to things on one and a half times speed, so you get through the content faster. And even better, if you're exercising, you can listen to that as well. So, you know, double whammy, right? Exercise and learning and cram more in because, you know, you can listen to it faster. So there's lots of different tricks and tips that can allow you to get that quick injection of, you know, expanding your mind. Um, and then the final one is uh, stands for scribing, which sounds very grand, doesn't it? Essentially writing. And this is about journaling, ideally keeping a journal, a diary. And that could just be something as simple as reflecting at the end of the day or the start of the day, how you're feeling. Um, it's great to think about what you're grateful for actually you know what are the joys in your life in particular when times are tough and maybe not everything is rosy in the garden you know if you can think about two or three things that you're really grateful for you know, it could be your family it could be your kids it could be that you know you're able to actually walk around the block whatever it might be you know so keeping a journal is quite a quite a good way of um, getting those thoughts out of your head and onto paper and it's quite nice to be able to look back as well and say, oh, gosh, you look at, you know, look at what I've actually achieved. Um, you know, gosh, that was how I was feeling six months ago. And now look at me or, oh, yes, actually, I could have done I could have done that better. You know, so it's a great way for to reflect as well over time. And, and it's private, isn't it? You know, it's, it's just your own thoughts. 
uh, in a similar sort of genre, but not from a journaling point of view. I'm a bit of a geek, as a lot of you may already know. So when I read a business book or a mindset book or something along those lines, very often what I will do is I, I have a notepad and I will jot down the points that really resonate for me. Um, and then, you know, when I'm commuting or I've got a moment, I'll just flip back through my notes. So it brings that the sort of the key key points from that book to life. So I absolutely find it very um, uh, useful to write down because the the physical act of writing something down helps it stick in my mind as well. Other people are visual, you know, be much more creative, draw maybe draw things out. Um, so that's the other way that sort of writing stuff can be helpful. And um, so I'm just going to recap on on those six areas very quickly. So how you can invest time and effort in your personal development. So the acronym is SAVERS. The first one stands for silence. The A is for affirmations, the V is for visualisation, the E is for exercise, the R is for reading and the S is for scribing. Now you can find your own version of that, whatever is right for you, but remember the analogy of the bank account. You know, if you're always making withdrawals in terms of your time, your energy, your resources, not always in a negative way, but you know, we have a lot of demands on, on us um, every single day and you don't invest back into the bank account, you'll find that you're in the red, you're overdrawn, um, and then you're not in the best shape to be able to move forward. So we want to move out of the red and into the black um, with investing time and effort in our personal development. So I'm massively passionate about this. It's something I put into practice every single day, so I would never talk about something that I don't do myself. Um, so yeah, as I say, you know, give it a go. And just a couple of things to, to leave you with, really, to think about. You know, the best investment you can ever make is, is in yourself. And that could be from a monetary investment point of view, but equally time and energy, uh, because, you know, it does take investment. It does take a commitment, but you don't want mediocre. You know, you've got the potential to be brilliant, but you have to work on your personal development every single day in some shape or form. You know, strive to be the best version of yourself, in particular during these times, you know, because you might have more more time maybe on your hands well you know working from home etc or you might be going through a difficult situation where maybe you know you've you're furloughed you you've been made redundant unfortunately or you're going through some some period of change think about how you can use your time really well you know don't miss this as an opportunity right now i think it's a really great time to be able to you know focus on your own personal development that will stand you in great stead going forward um yeah, i would absolutely love it if there's anyone that you think would benefit from hearing some of this if you could share uh, if you can leave comments and like it really helps me get access to more people and my purpose is to help as many people as possible achieve their full potential this will also come out um, on my podcast brave bold brilliant um, over the next few weeks so you can listen to it back there and as i say you know you can always access these videos I will be putting all this on my YouTube channel as well. So please, you know, if you want to watch again there, that's another way that you can do this. So I really appreciate all your support. I genuinely, genuinely want to help. And I really firmly believe that we all have brilliance within us and greatness uh, and we can unlock that. Uh, so investing in your personal development is something that I would highly recommend. So just remember, be brave, be bold and be brilliant. Take care. Have a good day.